Hey there, everyone. Uh, sorry, it's uh, been a little while. It's been like two two weeks, I think, since I've uh, uploaded. Uh, I know. I I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm huge or anything, but I uh, I like uh, uh, I uh, I've just been I don't know. I haven't really been wanting to upload videos much. Um, just been burnt out on the whole idea. Um, it's been, I don't know, I guess bored with it. I, I don't know how to, how to really explain it. Um, I also have been, I've also been trying to play different games, like new games and shit, but I don't know. I heard there's a new update coming to 76 soon, and I really like this game, obviously, and I've been playing this a little bit, and, um, well, I'm back and playing this game, and I decided I'd make a video, I guess, I don't know, talk about what's going on, I guess, um, I basically got a job, um, and, uh, like, a lot of, like, I, I mean, I try, I'm trying to focus more on my real life other than you know, playing video games and being on YouTube all the time because it's not really going anywhere. Um, uh, I got a Starfield, obviously. I've been making Starfield content. Um, I don't know when I'm probably going to make any more Starfield content. Um, I'm probably going to talk about it a little bit right now. Um, I'm kind of bored with the whole game. Um, I put like over like a hundred, 150 hours in the game. Um, I've definitely played it a lot. Uh, I did a lot of side quests. I've tried the game out a lot, definitely. I have a lot of fucking perks and have tried a lot of different skills and... I don't know, it, it's not that I dislike the game. I like Starfield. I'm probably gonna jump back into it here soon and try to complete the main quest and stuff and complete everything with it but I made a couple of videos like I just um like I didn't really like the I think the the like building creators like a I think I said a the like outpost creators a step back from what this is what the what the new camp creator was in 76 but I mean nobody really played this game so I guess nobody really got to see how good this you know how efficient this really was and how cool some of the items were and how like you could actually make your camp look different other than just like have like a few assets that are pretty much the same throughout the entire other game uh, but I mean there that's not like a gripe I mean I know it's supposed to all look like a space outpost but like it'd be just cool if there was like extra stuff uh, I, maybe I just like this game too much but just, just like if they just add like extra stuff like more memorabilia that you could just put in the game other than just put some displays on like the same display the same outfits as decorations that you can get like you get the same like spacesuits like const consistently throughout the entire game like after like almost 200 hours of gameplay like, you get, like, the same spacesuits throughout the whole game. I mean, like, some of them change up, sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that, like, they're all the same, but there's, like, ma you get, like, you see, like, maybe, like, ten different pieces of armor, dude, and it's kind of, like, like, I'm not gonna really crap on the game. I mean, I like it. it I really do like the game. It, like, it's a really good, like, amazing step for Bethesda. It's one of the greatest RPGs they've made, but it's, like, there's a lot of lacking areas, like the outpost creator, and like, there's a shitload of weapons and like ammo types in the game, but there's like no, there's hardly like any, like armor. I feel like in like like miscellaneous armor in the game. Like I feel like you just constantly see the same armor pieces, frequently. There's not many unique armors, and the unique armors that you do find are, like literal. They're not legendary or anything, so they're basically shit. Like, like the only like unique armors you find are like the end game armors and like the mantis armor and a few other like unique armors that you do quests for, and some of them aren't even that good. Like the mantis armor and the end game armor are like literally 
the only armors that people use. Like, people will do New Game Plus 10, 20 times just to get a better roll on their frickin' armor in the game, and I'm like, oh, and so Fallout 76 is such a crap game because you have to re-roll your armor and weapons in this game. It's like, come on, dude, you're literally speedrunning through an entire fucking game just to re-roll your weapons and ammo, your weapons and armor each fucking time. Like, t t tell me that's not counterproductive. Like, what ha like I, 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 I know that's probably like a big gripe with, uh, me, like, yeah, you're probably, like, getting a big, like, idea that I don't like the idea of New Game Plus. I don't think there's a lot of, I, I really don't understand people that do like the New Game Plus. I get the idea and get the concept and understand it really, like, makes sense for the story-wise in this game. But still, it's just it's totally, like... Just to get some special armor or some special ships, and from what I hear, you can just build or craft, like, your own things anyway and find better... You can find better armor out in the wild anyway. So it's like... What's the point? What What's, like, what's really the point at that part... At, at, like, of even re-running -ru through the game that many times because you want to see a few unique options i think is what like happens like you it's because it's in a different universe every single time like the i'm sorry spoiler alert but like every time you do the new game plus you go into a different universe or something because the uni unity or whatever i don't know it's something with the starborn i haven't completed the quest all the way but i've watched stuff and i've spoiled the ending a little bit for me already and i kind of know that the ending of the game is basically once you go into new game plus you basically restart the game all over again at the same level with the same skills that you already have so if you're level 100 and you have a bunch of skills you basically restart the game over at level 100 with all the same skills but it's different it's different it's uh, and like everybody's like ooh what a twist bethesda and i'm like i i mean okay i get it like it's cool i uh, um but honestly, I, I'd rather just stick to Elder Scrolls and fucking Fallout it, 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 I, without the, the crazy plot twist of there's 50 different universes in the, the world and you're not, a, you're not a true lore or true Starfield player if you don't beat the game 50 consecutive times. And I'm like, I, I like completing all the quests and shit in one playthrough like isn't that what the uh, or not really one playthrough but i like experience a lot in, a lot of things like on my first playthrough like when i first played fallout 4 and a lot of uh, bethesda games especially this one like level 424 on my first like first character basically it's like I want to do everything, like, not almost everything, but, like, I, I, like, on New Vegas, I've created multiple different characters and gone different paths, but, and completed different quests, but it's, like, I've tried to complete, like, be a completionist in every single playthrough and try to complete every single, so that's why I just, when I get unendated, like, if I'm, if I, like, I'm already, like, almost, like, 200 hours in the game and I look at my quest board and I have, like, 20 activities left, like fucking like 20 different side quests like five different main quests it's like bro like I, i've already been playing the game for so long and there's apparently i have to redo the game over again to really experience the the game it's like damn like you re you want me to play it for a long time but i'm already burnt out by the whole fucking idea man like really like and I know I'm not the only one. I might get shit for this, like, because I've been talking about this for so long, but, like, there are so many other people I know that are gonna come out and be like, wow, I'm... I'm really fucking burnt out by... by fucking, uh, Starfield, and I've either done New Game Plus a few times, or I haven't even done New Game Plus, and I'm, like, already fucking burnt the fuck out on it, and I don't even wanna, like... Like, I'll go back in it, back to it in, like, maybe a few years or something when they release DLC or some shit, but I'm kind of, like, tired of it. Like, again, I like the fucking game. I need a, I really, I, I'm a completionist, so I want to get, 
I've already gotten a, quite a few trophies in the game. I want to get the rest of the trophies in the game. It's going to be a grind, but... It's just... I I don't know. Like, it's just... I'm so... I, I guess I'm not really saying I'm bored by the game. I, I At the end of this, I really want to say I'm... I'm overwhelmed by the game. Like, I just, like, I'm so overwhelmed at this point. Because I'm just like, dude, like... I just want to, like, chill. Like, I just want to, like, get... I want to go on one path and I'll be like doing the main quest in Starfield or whatever. I'll be doing the main quest and all of a sudden Sarah or fucking Barrett or something. And it's optional. You don't have to talk to them, but they're like, I need to talk to you for a minute. And, but I'll be like, oh, fuck, fine. I mean, they're right there, so I'll, I'll talk to them really quick. And then all of a sudden they're your follower and you have to go on their quest or whatever. And it's like, god damn. And it's like... I really just want to, I just want to keep doing the quest that I'm doing right now, like, and I don't want you as my follower, I, I want to keep the, like, Obasco or the adoring fan as my follower, because another gripe with the, I mean, 90% of the followers are the, the, the compass of morality in fucking, in fucking, uh, Starfield, and it makes me miss the, like, karma and even the, like, the like evil and good villain, good good uh, companion you could get, you could get in Elder Scrolls and Fallout because even in Elder the older Elder Scrolls and even in the older Fallouts there were there were NPCs that were not directly aligned somehow or they felt a certain type of way the way they were programmed I mean I know Starfield's a huge game with a lot more NPCs but. Why does every NPC have to be the moral of authority, but like the Crimson Fleet? Or like, but like the Trade Authority? It just doesn't make sense that there's only like a sele very select few of people and other than like the adoring fan, because he's literally programmed to be obsessed with you, and Vasco because he's a fucking robot where he has no moral opinion at all. It, it just... It baffles me how, like, that, that to me, I feel, I love, uh, I, I'm sorry, I might get hate for saying this, but that to me seems super fucking lazy in the NPC and companion department. And especially with the quests that almost feel like, when you're talking to them, like, yeah, you could say, I will just want to talk to you later. But once you engage in their dialogue, it kind of feels like you're obligated to help them out and start their quest line. And in, in New Vegas, I know of New Vegas was an Obsidian title, but that was my favorite companion NPC title, dude. And dude, it was so like you like every and anyone will agree. It was so fucking nice that you would be going along with your quest. You'd be level 10, 20, 30 deep balls deep in the fucking New Vegas. And then all of a sudden your NPC would be like, hey, damn. We, like, we just went across this this quest you just did, and I just, just made me think. And you're like, damn, bro, it made me think, too. And you're kind of like, wow, that was actually really good fucking character and plot development. And it made me actually want to engage with my companion in any type of way. And made me super, like, almost, like, not even, almost, like, infatuated with, like, my care like I loved like fucking Raul and like Boone and fucking like Veronica and shit because they were like they like were all of a sudden like hey bro like sup like it it just it felt like authentic I don't know how to like ex like explain I know it like it was like shitty programming back then on the old creation engine and shit like that but I don't know man it even like Fallout 3 and stuff with some of the the companions and even Fallout 4 had their, com like, some of them, like, yeah, they had the dislike and liked thing. A lot of the Fallout 4 companions had their moral authority thing. But it was, wasn't was so bad to the point where, like, you could still have all your companions hate the hate your guts, but they'd still fucking follow you. And that that's, like, what kind of bothers me is as soon as you do anything, like... Like, I mean, you could rob people in front of them sometimes, but if you do it, like, in a certain manner, your, your fucking, your, your companion might be like, Oh, you're trying to get us arrested? That's it, I can't do this anymore. You're trying to, 
uh, you're, I'm not gonna let you kill kill these people or whatever. And you're like, bro, come on. And that's like, I mean, like, that's like shit that happened like back in like uh, uh, Oblivion. I know. Um, but even then, <laughs> I don't even think like Martin Septum did that shit. Like when you would like rob stuff. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I played the game, but. Oh shit. I'm really going off on a tangent. But, uh, anyway, I'm playing this game. Uh, uh, again, I'm not on script. I'm really doing this on a stream, so I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. Like, some of this stuff I, 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 like, was going off the top of my head, and I didn't know where it was going. But I, I, all in all, I do really like Starfield, though. I mean... It's so ambitious. There's so much shit to do. Like I've I lost myself in like so many planets, doing so much stuff, and I was like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. I surveyed like two whole like fucking like star systems. So it's not like I didn't like the game. I love the game. I have no complaints about any of the character creations, any of the like super, any not in super, not any of the like um more progressive things. Like I really like it actually. Like I like how like diverse everything is i like how different like the whole world and universe is really like i like how it really does feel a little more realistic compared to um because fallout is super like still like it it's not clo like fallout broke boundaries and it was still progressive in certain ways but it's still like super weird and obscure because it's like that weird like, it's supposed to be around that super weird time period but it's in the apocalypse after that time period so things are like opinions and shit are super weird like you have like fascist like totalitarian groups but at the same time you have so like you know it like it like because like history just progressed super differently in the fallout universe as well as like the elder scrolls like it the lore in both of those games are just so different compared to starfield and i love that and like I love how, it, like Starfield makes me almost feel like I'm playing a movie sometimes, and that's why I love how different it is in that aspect. Because like, that's why like whenever I think about wanting to go play that game, I'm like, damn, man, this game really does feel like I'm almost playing like Interstellar or some shit. Like I don't know how to explain it. Um, it, it, I um. I know, because I know I, I crapped on it a little bit, and I kind of lost, like, my train of thought, and I kind of want to, like, go back and, like, kind of, like, reiterate that I do like the game, and I kind of, like, crapped on it for a while, but I feel like a lot of my gripes, I feel like the, a lot of the, a lot of the bad, I feel, I, I don't really feel like I have, like, a bunch of terrible takes on how, like, some of the, like, shortcomings Starfield has, because every game has, star, has shortcomings, and I, I don't feel like... I feel like all gamers these days like shoehorn themselves into either fanboy status or hater status and it's just so crazy that like it's almost like fucking uh like American politics you're either a P Republican or fucking Democrat and it's almost like dude why can't like you just kind of have like a neutral like or almost like like even like I have with this game like dude like Star like Fallout 76 isn't the greatest game in the ga world but I fucking love the game and there's so much shit that I have find fun with it just like Starfield, like, there's so much shit that, like, I lost my time playing the game, and I'm probably gonna put another 150 more hours in it, like, 200 hours in the game in a month or so here when I start getting bored with some other games, because that's just how I am. I just get bored with stuff, and the big, that's just the big complaints I have with it, is that, like, some of the NPCs are are a little lacking because of how ambitious the game was because of how big the game is so like the some of the npcs just feel like either super moral like there's pro all programmed to be almost like the same fucking person in a different skin with a slightly different personality but their sob stories are so fucking similar dude and i know like people are gonna be like no 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 they're not uh sarah morgan's uh side quest and Barrett's side quests are totally different. You're like, come on, bro. They're both sob stories. They both just come up to you randomly, and you're they're like, please, Captain, feel be bad for me. And it's just kind of like, it's it's almost as bad as the fucking Preston Garvey. There's another settlement that needs our help, dude. Like, you cannot say that that is not 
almost the same fucking shit that they're re regurgitating in 2023. And I love Bethesda. I love their RPGs. This is why I play them all the time. But that is just something that they should have totally ironed out after, with, considering how polished the game is. Because I have, like, no bug complaints with this game at all, dude. At all. Like, this game looks great. There are hardly ever any fucking bugs that I have ever experienced on, on either Xbox and even fucking cloud playing on the PC when I'm at, like, work and shit like that when I'm fucking bored and I have the time. Like, dude, it's... It's just... Starfield is... By far, I feel like one of the most decisive RPG titles that Bethesda has released since, like, Morrowind. And I feel like that's kind of a dangerous thing to say, but there's so much going on with Starfield that you really... And especially because there's that online capability that you have to update games and they can put DLC in it at any time. There really is no roof with the thing because they really could change a lot of things. And my... A lot of bad opinions that people have about the game could be totally different in a long period of time. Or even mods, the modding community, which I'm not a huge guy on mods. I don't even mod my games at all. The modding community might do a lot of different things that might even make it so the game is still true to its roots. And it just really improves and iron outs a lot of the details that people are complaining about. And... There's nothing wrong with either the developers or modders doing that. I'm, I'm pretty sure Bethesda, because I, if anybody has played Fallout 76, they'll know how well, like, uh, they'll know how well Bethesda worked with this game, dude. Like, it, people may disagree and be like, Fallout 76 is still dog shit, but this game is so fun, dude. I love this game. I, I, I I'm not, like, a fucking, like, trying to, like, Again, I, I like people probably think I'm like a Fallout 76 like Bethesda spokesman, but like no, I'm not. I just like this game that so much, and I'd endorse this game at any time. I try to get my friends to play this game with me all the time. I like, I, I'm like, dude, somebody please play this game with me. I fucking love because I play this game by myself right now. I'm in a private party with myself, so these people in this team can't hear what I'm saying. Um, but uh. I'm gonna try to come back with some like other content. I'm gonna try to continue doing Starfield content, Elder Scrolls content. I need to get back to doing the Morrowind series. I'm like halfway done with that. I'm really close to like getting to Dagother actually in my game, and so there's a lot of clips that I have held back. Um, and I'm super excited for the future of Bethesda after Starfield's been released because it's it's in a great state right now. I feel like. Um, I'm gonna do do some other quests. I'm probably gonna, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up talking pretty much. But uh, if, uh, if you guys want to stick around for uh, another like talking about Starfield and other shit, I guess really, and I'm just gonna kind of bullshit about random shit here in a second because I'm gonna I'm gonna play this game a little bit today. Um, I'm gonna wrap up the video. I'm probably gonna play this game all day, but I'm not gonna s stream fucking like all like all the few hours, because I have uh, all the hours I'm going to play this game, so it's, I'm just kind of bullshitting, and, um, and I'm just going to talk about, uh, what I'm doing, like, right now, and, uh, like, why I just had, like, but, you know, long story short, <laughs> long story short, I'm from South Park, long story short, uh, after, uh, 25 minutes in the video, um, but, uh, I do like Starfield, um, I'm excited for the Bethesda future, like I was saying, um, I'm, uh, I, uh, can't wait for the new update for this game, I'm probably gonna be playing this game a lot for some reason, I've just been super drawn to this game again, I don't know why, uh, but, I, I, uh, I, I think I think that's pretty much all I really had to say about Starfield that like really I had a com had complaints about. Um, I mean, some of the storage and like like I said the outpost stuff. Uh, I just felt I felt like I'm getting overwhelmed by all the quests. Um, 
There's a few like other minor things, but I don't know. I, I just don't really want to like crap on the game too much because I do like it. Um, long story, like like I said, like to put it all in, in into after I've been talking for so long to put it all into a tight little bow. I love the game. It's I could put it right up there with Fallout and Elder Scrolls. I, it's a nice addition to their collection of RPGs. But uh, long, uh, 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 to put it all night and neatly, uh, I think it's a, a, a Bethesda RPG basically. Um, like I said, it fits in there with the Elder Scrolls and Fallout. It's but it's nothing like crazy. Uh, it's not like a lot of people are like, this is the greatest game ever, but like. I mean, the story, like, the beginning of the story is pretty weak, like, like when you, like, get wake up in the mine. But, I mean, that's not even really that bad, because, like, like, as soon as I got into my ship, I was like, damn, this game's cool. Like, I killed those pirates, fucked those pirates, killed them. The game was cool, like, I broke out, and I immediately started exploring the universe, and that was amazing. Um, but, like, uh, you could just tell it's just a huge mix of Fallout and the Elder Scrolls, though. That's all I really want to say. Um... I mean, they have, instead of, like, they don't even have, they don't have bats. Like, that's the only thing I don't have from Fallout, but, like, the gunplay feels super like Fallout. Um, the Elder Scrolls, uh, what I might think it's like the Elder Scrolls is, uh, you can tell the DNA is, like, totally Morrowind Oblivion. Like, Skyrim is, like, showing through, like, tried and true, and they just, like, kind of, like, took that, like, fall like, like, that Fallout DNA with it. And... The NPCs really feel like Oblivion and Skyrim NPCs mixed together because of how many NPCs there are. They are there are, um, but uh, the uh, the powers. There's powers. That's what I was gonna get to. The, that's why I feel like it's like super like a copy of like Fallout 4 and like Skyrim mixed together, just without the vats from Fallout with the gunplay, because. Uh, the power attacks with melee weapons and the powers that you can unlock, the starborn powers. There's even like a Fusro Da push and like as you like level up and like if you do the new game plus, you can really make that like that like hand push, that force push, which is basically the Fusro Da like mechanic that they had from Skyrim. It's just you sticking out your hand and using a gravity push. Which is the same fucking thing as the gravity force shout. It's the force shout. It's like literally forcing gravity that way. So it's literally the same fucking power. But if you can like level it up and get it super powered if you do the new game plus or whatever from what I hear. So you can make it just as power if not more powerful than like the Fusra Dash out from Skyrim. So I'm like, I'm like, dude, it's the same fucking shit. So I don't understand why that's why, that's why I, I like, that's my big gripe with some of the fans. Like, it's the like, groundbreaking. It's the greatest Bethesda, I'm like, guys, it's just, it's just Skyrim and Fallout mixed together. It's a great game, and it makes me happy that they're making new games, and they're gonna, that, like, Elder Scrolls 6 and, like, Fallout 5 are gonna be probably amazing and, like, just as good. So, like, let's just be happy that the future is not gonna suck. Like, like, we're on a good path, I feel like, you know? But anyway, that's about it for all that. Um... I haven't been uploading, like I said, because I've just been bored. Um, I don't know. I don't really know why. Um, I haven't really had any ideas. I don't really know what to talk about. I don't. Uh, there's like scammers or whatever, like trying to scam me on like YouTube and stuff, and we're like flooding my comments section, and people were trying to take my channel down, even though I only have like 200 subscribers, and it made me really discouraged and sad. Um, I don't. I, 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 uh, I don't really, I don't know. There's a lot of, like, weird stuff that happened. Um, uh, for a while, I thought it was, like, people that, like, I knew from my past or something that were just trying to mess with me because the way, like, some of the comments were worded, but... And then a lot of people, like, a lot of my, like, friends now today started, like, actually investigating for me because, like, I'm not a huge extra... I know about the internet and stuff, but like I'm not I, I like don't even really have my own computer. Like I basically like have this old laptop that like me and my girlfriend both kinda use as a community laptop, but like she got it like years ago and it's really a piece of junk and 
I don't really know that. I'm not like super savvy when it comes to like like shitty like dirty internet techniques, I guess, because like I don't know. I when I was like in my like late teens and early 20s, I like was really like involved in the internet and like knew what the fuck was going on and like knew all the scams and shit, but I don't know as I like now I'm like almost like like I'm 27, like 28 now and like I don't know, I like I kind of like I didn't realize how like AI's like changing and like I know that may sound like stupid but like I'm not like I haven't been on like I'm not I ha I'm like like not like an internet like fucking like goblin like a lot of people are and like I'm not like super like on I like I don't even have Twitter like I don't even really have Instagram or like Snapchat I have like a Facebook and like I have a YouTube that I just kind of randomly started making videos on but like ultimately like I don't know like I don't really I don't really um uh, know what uh, like I don't really know what's going on in like a lot of like mainstream circles or like what's really like what like like what is like super like some like I like under like I just just started hearing like some of the like newer slang like recently like the word like kids say valid all the time and like shit and like uh, uh like bussin and shit and I don't know a bunch of different fucking slang like I'm like starting to like just get hip to that I sound like an old grandpa but like I I, I like I don't know like. I, I like just started like I guess like like started like turning my eye back to the internet and like I like I'm like oh wow there's a lot of like and especially because I started this like YouTube channel like it's just been like I don't know like like the internet's weird I guess now these days like I, I grew up in like the MySpace days and shit and like <laughs> Like the early, like late 2000s and early 2000s, like 10s. So like, when like you try to like put yourself back into like an internet presence or whatever, you like I don't know, you try to like make content or whatever. I guess you start putting yourself out there. Like my friends tell me, um, I uh, I guess you make yourself a target randomly for some reason. Uh, even if you're super small and like a nobody and like nobody really cares about you, um. So I guess that's weird or funny. I I don't I don't know, man. I again, I'm not an expert. I'm just kind of like bullshitting, shooting the shit, I guess. Um, I I kind of want to know, figure out what the fuck I'm doing here. Uh, I I I I, I, I like I like decided I was gonna do a bunch of side quests today. That's, that's what I'm doing. I decided to, the reason why I'm carrying this on so long and I'm just not like not stopping it after the Starfield talk is I haven't uploaded a video in a long time and I know nobody's probably gonna watch past like the 10, 20, 10 minute mark, maybe in five minute mark. Hell, even, I don't know, maybe I'm optimistic, maybe some of you watch past the 20 minute mark, but I, I don't know, like, uh, yeah. Nobody really likes watching people play video games talking all the time anyway, and I mostly just stand there and like get lost in my train of thought and forget I'm do get what I'm doing in the game. Because I'm talking and, like talking randomly. And I don't have a script in front of me, so I like I just like I don't know. And I don't like have an audience at all that ever talks to me. I guess that's the ADHD and like a bunch of mental disorders I probably fucking have, but uh, I don't know. Um, what was I saying? Um, something about the internet, me uploading videos, and why I don't as much anymore. I don't know. I might quit. I might stop. Um, I know people are probably gonna tell me not to. A lot of people have been trying to encourage me to start doing it again. A lot of people on my like Facebook friends and stuff. Um, you can follow me there on Facebook. My name's Jacob, by the way. Um, uh, I, I probably shouldn't give that out, but I really don't care. Um, 
people already probably know everything about me and already have all my information it's not like I'm very private about anything and I apparently already had a bunch of fucking scammers already on my fucking shit anyway but uh, I have Axel Vex yeah Axel Axel Vex gaming I think I even have my like real name on there on the fucking page but Axel Vex gaming is on Facebook there too if you want to follow it um, I know nobody probably will but um, a couple of people have been starting to follow me because I've been st starting to post some of my random, my old videos that I've been posting for like, I've had like 200 videos on here, so I'm posting some of my, some of my videos as reels on Facebook and a few people like those, but again, uh, it's not like I expect much and I just like, I'm really grateful that you guys think I'm kind of funny sometimes and a few people think I'm kind of goofy and I really appreciate that guys, um, if you're even watching this far. Um, it makes me really happy if you guys even miss me. Um, I, I know nobody really does, but I mean, I try to make some funny content. I try to make positive content. I try to make random content, really. Like, I just really try to do what I want to do. Like, we'll do whatever. Um, and uh, I, I really try to, like, I don't know, like, the tutorials and stuff I kind of started and I like a, a few people still like want me to continue doing those and and I feel really bad that I don't do them so like that's kind of why I like I want to come back and do those videos because that means a lot to me that like even a couple people are like dude like thank you so much and I'm like uh, just I don't know I'm just some fucking dude you know and even if I ever like did like ever anything with this or like started like making gaming like content regularly a lot or like I don't know I don't know what this you know what I mean like I'd still be this way cuz um, I don't really want to make money off of this anyway I just really like people I don't know I, I hate people at the same time but like I I like the people that I like that like I don't know, actually enjoy my videos, I guess, like, because there's a few of them sometimes, and people are, like, actually, I don't know, like, interacting with me, I guess, and are like, hey, you're a cool guy, and that means a lot to me, because throughout my whole life, uh, uh, well, I haven't had a lot of friends, and uh, a lot of friends that I have had, like, stopped talking to me throughout my life, and I really only have my fiancé, and, uh, my pets like my dog and my cat and um i have uh like i have a couple friends like my buddy mike and my buddy austin but austin doesn't really talk to me that much and because he's kind of busy with his own shit and mike same thing but uh i used to game with him a lot but like they're again they're really busy and mike plays on playstation a lot and I kind of don't like playing PlayStation that much because I have a lot of stuff on the Xbox and I don't know. Austin doesn't really like to like play Fallout 76 that much and um I don't know. Probably shouldn't. I, mean, I probably don't even know who those guys are, but I don't even know why I'm talking about this. Probably because it's been I don't know. It's just been a while. I haven't I haven't like addressed anything in a while. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but two weeks is a long time to go without saying anything or making a video. I know I made that one random video about that one, like, YouTuber that I didn't really like that much. Um, hmm. I kind of don't want to start talking to this guy because uh, I start if I start talking to him, I'm going to, like, get distracted by what he's saying. And I kind of want to finish, like, what I'm saying here. And um, I'm having a bunch of voice cracks because, like, it's like the morning, and I just like woke up, and <clears throat> I don't know. My voice, throat's kind of dry because I keep talking consistently. Um, again, I'm sorry I talk so much. I say that all the time at work too, because I feel like I talk to people too much. I feel like I talk way too much. I feel like I should just shut up. But uh, yeah, um, I I basically just uh don't know 
what to like make anymore i had like all these ideas in the beginning like the retrospective and stuff and like i wanted to make montages of like old like fps games i used to play and stuff and like re-upload that stuff and upload funny clips from time to time and make like fallout memes and sometimes like do like elder scrolls and fallout commentaries and then starfield came out and all of that stuff started happening and i got a job and i don't know me and like my fiance we're on really good terms like we're doing really well but like our headspace isn't really well because like we want to we want to do a lot of things right now and there's a lot of stuff like we want to like move and do a lot of different things with our lives and uh like we just like kind of like want to move on to that next chapter and like there's a lot of things that like we have to like do first and i know i'm getting really personal but like uh, but i'm also being kind of vague like but that's basically like long story short like my like me and like we're just like trying to figure out like things like in our lives and i feel like me focusing on this and just like going to work and just like focusing on whatever and like just kind of having this whatever attitude isn't really going to get us very far so i started taking a break a little bit and just kind of like chilling and just like kind of having my own thoughts to myself and doing whatever but i don't know again nobody's probably gonna even care about any of this or watch any of this but um I'm sorry guys if this was uh, super long and uh, I, super boring and cringe or whatever. I don't fucking know. I don't really care. I don't fucking care. Uh, I don't even know what like I'm even trying to do anymore. Like I don't even know what my main audience even is anymore, which is why I don't like really care what I say and I don't really have a filter because I really don't care if my audience is um, like 50 year old men or children or if it's a combination of all of you guys. If there's a bunch of kids and teenagers and older people watching this, great, cool. Um, welcome guys, let's like, what's up? I am literally just some like late twenties dude that I don't, I don't know. I, I like, I have this like very, um, very, uh, I don't know whatever attitude um most of the time like i have a very chill attitude i don't know like I, I it's not like i don't care about things but like like that's basically how i like approach things that i was i'm just very like um i used to be very hyper when i was younger and i just really like really mellowed out maybe it's because i smoked a lot of marijuana but um yeah that's uh uh i, th I think I, I think that's about it um I don't know why I've just been standing here and talking this long. It's probably been a super boring video because nothing's been happening, but, um... Yeah. Let's talk to Initiate Dodge, right. the guy who does we'll the daily to... ops quests. Ah. You got grit. I'll give you that. Uh, I've never done this side quest before. I haven't done a lot of side quests in this game, but I'm gonna do them. The Appalachian chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. I got word that members from Mariposa are on their way here now. It's critical that I lay the groundwork they need to get a foothold in this region. Are you up for it? I actually play some games for the last like a little bit. You're here already? Damn. Had less time than I thought. If you're really working with them, then it's imperative that you hear me out. I compiled a list of locations the Brotherhood had uh, previously been tracking. Uh, this is a long video. Every day oh, well. I'll highlight a location and a mission. And I'm pretty much streaming it, but strategic advantage. Like I said, nobody watches because yeah, I also and I'll provide intended for certain audiences because I probably swore too much. If you're fast and efficient. I'll killed even stuff too and blew their parts up. So pay attention in there and work quickly. Come see me after your first stop. I'll throw in an extra something for you. If you have any questions about daily ops, ask. Otherwise, hit your map, find the op, and let's take back Appalachia.
Uh, complete a daily hop from your mount. My fucking god. LOL. Well, at least I haven't done it yet today. I can complete a daily operation. You know what, I guess... Oh, they're doing Moonshine Chamber. We got just 32. Um, yeah, um... I guess I'll do that really quick. That's hilarious that I've never done this quest and it's that easy. I've already done so many daily ops. Let's get it done. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Good old moonshine jamboree. Planet City's coming back. Oh, well, not coming back. Coming back. Stuff for this game, man. I'm excited. I don't know what it is about this game, but I just like it so much. Maybe it's just because I like Fallout so much. And I feel like this is just an undersung hero of the series. Nobody likes this fucking game, but I do. I do, and these people in this event do like this game. I definitely made that video about the start doing my avatar mass looting and yeah, people so either there's so many fanboys in that game that people are like, oh I, Starfield is so good. Starfield's so good that it doesn't need mass looting. Why would you need efficiency? What? But who needs efficiency? You know, who needs that? Who needs efficiency in their life? Why Why would I not want to be able to just loot all the enemies, especially if one like falls through the map or disappears from sight and then I just do that? But no, I'm wrong. It's, it's more fun that way. It's more, the game is more fun with not having mastery. It's just like dumb statements, like nothing burger statements like that that just make no sense from fans and the Bethesda community sometimes. They're like, yeah, um, actually, the criminals that are going with mass factors are actually good. Things that are ass backwards in this game are actually good for the game.
Oh boy. I basically don't know what to say anymore. I don't even know why I made this video. Well, did just started doing the stream. Whatever, I'm gonna upload it. I hope he's gonna watch it, and I'm not gonna care. Because I'm pretty much done with doing the shit anyway. Jesus Sunday! That's a good shit right there.
<sighs> well. I think that's about it. I'm gonna complete the rest of my challenges. But I'm gonna call this video done. I don't know what else to say. Just figured I'd show you guys that event. Just cause I felt like, hey. Might as well show some game playing in this video. Cause it's a gaming video. So. See ya. See you in the next one. Maybe. I don't fucking know.